Dear friends, here is another problem where we use one of those rule of thumbs and in this case we are going to use the rule of 69. Now just like the rule of 72, the rule of 69 is also a rule of thumb, a rough calculation to find out the doubling period. That is how long will it take for an amount or a deposit to double in how many years? Now, here the doubling period is found out as, according to the rule of 69, doubling period is equal to 0 0.35 plus, 6, plus 69 divided by the rate of interest. Now, in this problem, uh, we, you know, a, a finance company offers to give you 8,000 rupees after 12 years if you deposit 1,000 rupees today. Using the rule of 69, calculate the interest rate offered by the company now here we know what is the future value that is 8000 rupees which the company offers to give after 12 years and we also know what is the present value that is 1000 rupees we also know what is the period n which is 12 years and we have to find out what is the interest rate k now, using this rule of 69, how do we solve this problem? Now, how long will it take? How long will it take for 1000 rupees to grow to 8000 rupees? And how many times should 1000 rupees double? So, from 1000 to double to 2000, it'll take that's one time and 2000 to 4000 another time from 4000 to 8000 another time so in total 1000 rupees has to double how many times three times before it becomes 8000 so therefore 1000 rupees i'll just write 1000 doubles three times over a period of 12 years so therefore the doubling period is equal to 12 years divided by 3 equal to 4 years so the doubling period here is 4 years now what do we need to find out we have to find out what is the rate of interest. So let's bring in this equation 0 0.35 plus 69 divided by the rate of interest. I'll just write ROI, rate of interest, equal to the doubling period, which you've already found out, which is 4. So therefore, 69 divided by ROI, and we take. 0.35 to the other side so 4 minus 0 0.35 okay so 69 we bring that we bring 4 minus 0 0.35 which is what 4 minus 0.35 is equal to how much 3.65 so bring that this side 3.65 and ROI goes to the other side okay so therefore the rate of interest ROI is equal to 69 divided by 3.65 which equals to so 69 divided by 3.65 equals to 18.9% so that is your answer